you know, as far as the synergies, you you mentioned in a hyperbaric chamber, right? And I do know a lot of people like, uh, you know, there, there are clinics now that really focus on head injuries in a hyperbaric chamber as the only option, not synergizing it too much with other things. Uh, aside from that, or looking at that, is there any other synergies you're you're noticing with other therapies? More specific, I would say, to those head injuries that I know hyperbaric chambers work so well on. Well, I've I've seen some interesting before we were using a lot of the helmet and is working with the IV laser itself. Yeah. yeah. And I think and as far as brain inflammation, which could fall into not just head injuries, it could oh, no. fall into people doing with, you know, uh different types of dementias. Um that the combination can be a, a benefit where we look at in certain wavelengths of light with the blood, um, have more anti-inflammatory effects. So working on colors such as um uh, yellow and blue intravenously and green. And we now know that um, through our work through Dr. Bonsal um, in his group over in India, that uh, IV laser can also stimulate the um, stem cell activity and mm -hmm. release stem cells from the bone marrow. So one interesting thing too is stem cells can go everywhere. Is that if you stimulate a certain area, like you, you can almost in, in a way direct stem cells to certain areas of the body with laser therapy. That's right. Yeah. So say if a patient has, you know, some type of a brain issue and you were giving them um, stem cells and using, well, let me back up, using the IV lasers, let's put stem cells aside, just IV lasers to get their own stem cells to their own thing and using that laser help while they're getting that treatment, you could possibly be directing stem cells to the brain. Right. If there's an injury. It's almost like information and guidance system in yeah, a sense. Because them. stem cells I, don't, don't, you know, they're, they're remarkable but they don't right. have that kind of direction. They're just sort of all encompassing. They're there, it, right? Yeah. yeah. And you can direct them. And uh, that is something that uh, some of the research has been done. I mean, you can actually, it, it, it can happen. Yeah. Um, so I think the IV laser system with the helmet has been an interesting way. I already mentioned the hyperbaric. Um, I do a lot of ozone therapy with the blood. Mm -hmm. um, and certainly with that therapy, you're putting in a fair amount of oxygen into the body via, this, via the actual treatment. And then beyond the fact that you're also the ozone can affect the way your hemoglobin binds with oxygen, so you're better delivering oxygen to tissues, that'd be a great therapy to be done after, you know, a, a major autohemotherapy treatment or a blood ozone treatment mm -hmm. as well. And I would, I would also add on top of that, um, uh, IV hydrogen peroxide. Mm. H2O2, you know, yeah. Which, which um, IV wise, you have to be careful of patients because it can, it can make their veins go away, which we don't like that. Yes, but yes. Um, those are those are the therapies I think that could be a synergistic effect to take place. Yeah, but that's the great thing. It's such a simple thing to just throw this on your head, right, with the helmet and everything, yeah, and yeah. and you get the syn synergies going, and that's it. And it's simple, it's safe, it's effective. You know, no pain, no no anything really there, and and you're working on something that's that's actually stimulating your brain while you just sit there. Really yeah. remarkable. Yeah. yeah.